In this video, we're going to look at how to interpret the results of a paired samples t-test in SPSS. Now I have these three output tables, and I've done a paired samples t-test with two repeated measures variables. The first variable is total competency score of employees before they start their job, and then the same competency test one year after they've been on the job. And I want to see if the mean score of the two are significantly different. So I can see that the mean before they start their job is around 42 and that is less than their competency score on average after one year on the job. If I move down here to the third table, this is where the results of my t-test are. Under mean, there's a value of a minus 11.79. Now this is the mean difference between my two variables. So if I take 42.47 and I subtract 54.26, I'm going to get a value of minus 11. And SPSS always calculates the mean difference as the first mean minus the second mean. So it will always be that way. The standard deviation, that's the standard deviation of my differences. That means that for each employee, we've calculated or SPSS has calculated a difference between their total competency before and total competency after. And then this is the standard deviation of all those differences. You don't have to worry too much about this value here. My t-statistic is the main thing I'm looking for, and it's quite large and negative. It's minus 26.062, which is a very small number. And that correlates to a very small significance value of 0 0.000. Now we never say that this is zero because it's not equal to zero. There's probably some digits there to the right that we just can't see. So what we usually say is that the significance value or the p-value, which this is, is less than 0 0.001. And all that means is that it's very small and it's less than 0 0.001, but it's not equal to zero. So evaluating our t-test, we would reject the null hypotheses. The null hypothesis says that there's not a significant difference between the two mean scores. And we have found enough evidence to suggest that actually the difference between the two scores is statistically significant. And I know that because this value here is less than my significance, my level of significance, which is 0 0.05. Now your level of significance will be what you decide it to be. Usually it's 0 0.05 or 0 0.01. So you need to compare this to your level of significance. Now I've done a two-tailed test. So that means my, my alternate hypothesis was that there is a significant difference between the means. If you've done a one-tailed test, then generally you divide your two-tailed value by two. Now because ours is so small, dividing by two isn't going to change anything. But if you have a larger significance value, sometimes dividing by two can make a difference. So if you have a one-tailed hypothesis that says a particular mean score will be significantly higher or significantly less than, then you have a one-tailed hypothesis and you would need to divide this value by two. The last thing is the 95% confidence interval. You may or may not need this, but this is the confidence interval for the difference. So that means it's for this mean value here. And what it's saying is that we're 95% com confident that the actual mean difference between total competency before and after one year on the job is between minus 12 and minus 10. And that means that we're very confident that the competency score before starting the job is always going to be less than the competency score after one year on the job.